Welcome to my channel, hope you are doing good. Did you ever ponder over what exactly led to the extinction of, of dinosaurs from our planet? Picture a sunny day, approximately 66 million years ago. Suddenly, on your screen, a black backdrop is illuminated with a line animation depicting the size of an asteroid, six miles in diameter, hurtling towards Earth at a remarkable speed of around 20 miles per second. This space-bound missile, aimed at the heart of what is now known as the Yucatan Peninsula, held within it the demise of an entire era. The impact was apocalyptic. The energy set free was equivalent to a billion Hiroshima bombs, forming a crater about 120 miles wide. The ground quaked, and shockwaves rippled across the globe, causing earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In the aftermath of this cataclysm, a vast amount of debris was thrown into the atmosphere, the sun and casting Earth into darkness. Devoid of sunlight, photosynthesis came to a stop, causing a drastic drop in global temperatures. This sudden and severe climate change, also known as an impact winter, led to the extinction of innumerable plant species, disrupting the food chain at its very root. But the devastation didn't end there. The intense heat from the impact ignited wildfires on a global scale, reducing forests to ashes. The oxygen in the atmosphere was rapidly depleted, while the smoke and soot from the fires further darkened the skies. Simultaneously, the asteroid's impact had vaporized a significant amount of sulfur-rich rocks, releasing sulfuric acid into the atmosphere. This lethal cocktail rained down as acid rain, poisoning the waters and the land. In the ensuing months, the dust clouds gradually began to settle, revealing a drastically altered landscape. The world that had once thrived with a diverse array of life now lay in ruins, a silent testament to the destructive power, the cosmos. This catastrophic event marked the end of an era, wiping out around 75% of all species on Earth, including the mighty dinosaurs. The world as we know it began to take shape in the wake of this cataclysm setting the stage for a new chapter in the history of life on Earth. The asteroid impact was just the beginning. What followed was a series of climatic changes and ecological disruptions that forever changed the face of the Earth. Picture this. An asteroid with a diameter of about six miles, hurtling through space at incredible speeds, impacts the Earth with an unimaginable force. This cataclysmic event ejects an enormous amount of debris into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging the world into darkness. This is what scientists refer to as the nuclear winter effect. Now, imagine the Earth in utter darkness. Sunlight, the life-giving force, is drastically reduced. This causes a significant drop in temperatures worldwide, creating an unending winter. The decrease in sunlight also means that photosynthesis, the process by which plants make food, comes to a halt. The once vibrant and green Earth now lies barren and cold. With the extinction of plant life, herbivorous dinosaurs, those that fed on plants, faced a severe food shortage. This collapse in the food chain didn't stop there. Carnivorous dinosaurs, which relied on herbivores for sustenance, also began to starve. The survival of the fittest no longer held true as the fittest had nothing to survive on. This drastic change in climate and the collapse of the food chain led to the extinction of not just the dinosaurs, but around three quarters of all species on Earth. This mass extinction event marked the end of the Mesozoic era, often known as the Age of Dinosaurs. However, the story doesn't end with the demise of the dinosaurs. The Earth, in all its resilience, began a new chapter. Over time, the dust settled, sunlight started to filter through the dense clouds, and the temperatures began to rise. The Earth was now a drastically different place, barren and inhospitable. But from this desolation, life began to evolve once again. In the wake of the dinosaur extinction, a new group of species began to dominate the Earth, the mammals. Now, you might be wondering, why mammals? What made them so special? Well, the answer lies in their unique traits and adaptability. In a world drastically altered by the cataclysmic event, mammals thrived where others could not. As warm-blooded creatures, they were capable of maintaining a stable internal body temperature, regardless of the external environment. This proved to be a significant advantage in the aftermath of the asteroid impact, 
which caused severe climate shifts and plummeting temperatures. Mammals also benefited from their small size, at least initially. The smaller a creature is, the less food it needs to survive. In a world where food had become scarce, this was a significant advantage. They could burrow into the ground or hide in crevices, protecting themselves from predators and harsh weather conditions. But it wasn't just about survival. Mammals had another trick up their sleeves, adaptability. They were capable of living and thriving in a variety of environments, from forests and grasslands to deserts and mountains. This adaptability allowed them to exploit new ecological niches that were previously occupied by dinosaurs. Over time, as the Earth began to recover and plant life returned, mammals began to evolve and diversify. Some remained small, but others grew larger, adapting to take advantage of the new resources that were becoming available. They evolved into a multitude of shapes and sizes, each perfectly adapted to their environment and way of life. And, it was within this thriving and diverse world of mammals that the stage was set for the arrival of a new player, a creature unlike any the world had seen before, a creature that would change the course of life on Earth forever. Slowly but surely, mammals began to diversify and occupy various ecological niches, paving the way for the arrival of a particularly intelligent species. Among the diverse array of mammals, one lineage would eventually give rise to a species like no other, the Homo sapiens. These early humans, our direct ancestors, embarked on an evolutionary journey that would ultimately set them apart from all other life forms. In the heart of Africa, around six million years ago, a group of primates began to experiment with a new way of getting around, walking on two legs. This shift to bipedalism was a significant turning point. It freed up the hands, allowing these early hominids to interact with their environment in novel ways and paved the way for another crucial development, the use of tools. Fast forward to around two million years ago, and we find the Homo habilis, the first of our ancestors to be dubbed man. The Homo habilis were skilled toolmakers, fashioning sharp-edged stone flakes for cutting and scraping. This craft not only helped them to secure food, but also stimulated their cognitive development, resulting in larger, more complex brains. The next major milestone in our evolutionary story came with the emergence of Homo erectus, around one and a half million years ago. These early humans were the first to venture out of Africa, colonizing parts of Asia and Europe. They were also the first to use fire, a development that had profound implications for diet, social interaction, and protection from predators. As the millennia rolled on, Homo erectus gave way to the Neanderthals, and eventually, around 300,000 years ago, the first Homo sapiens appeared. Our species, equipped with an unprecedented level of cognitive complexity, began to express themselves through art, develop sophisticated tools, and establish complex social structures. By the end of the Stone Age, our ancestors had already demonstrated many of the traits that define us as humans today. They were toolmakers, artists, and explorers, poised on the brink of the next great leap in human evolution. The journey from the extinction of dinosaurs to the rise of humans is a tale of resilience and evolution. We began this tale with the catastrophic event that marked the end of an era, a colossal asteroid impact. This devastating event, a collision like no other, ushered in a wave of destruction that forever altered the course of life on Earth. The dinosaurs, those magnificent beasts who once ruled the land, were wiped out, leaving a vacuum in their wake. In the aftermath of this cataclysm, the Earth was a place of desolation. Darkness reigned, and the once vibrant ecosystems were reduced to shadows of their former selves. Yet, life has a way of persisting against all odds. Amidst the ruins of the prehistoric world, a new order of life emerged, the mammals. The rise of the mammals marked a significant turning point in Earth's history. In the absence of the dinosaurs, these creatures thrived, diversifying and adapting to the changing world. Their success laid the groundwork for the next chapter in our story, the dawn of humans. As we traced the evolution of humans, we saw how our ancestors, equipped with their keen intellect and adaptability, gradually rose to prominence. From the early hominids who first wielded tools to the communities of the Stone Age, 
the thread of human progress weaves a rich tapestry of innovation and discovery. And so, we arrive at the end of our journey, but not the end of the story. For the narrative of life on Earth is an ongoing saga, marked by periods of great upheaval and profound change. It is a testament to the indomitable spirit of life that, time and again, has risen from the ashes to forge a new path. As we look back at our history, we are reminded of the ever-changing nature of life on Earth and the incredible journey that has led us to where we are today. From the cataclysmic event that wiped out the mighty dinosaurs to the rise of the mammals and the dawn of humans, our journey through time has been nothing short of extraordinary. If you've enjoyed this journey and are eager to explore more such enlightening narratives, there's a place you can count on, the WWFSM for Gamer channel. Here we delve into the fascinating world of science, history, and culture, unraveling the mysteries of our past and pondering the possibilities of our future. So don't just be a spectator in this journey through time, be an active participant. Hit that subscribe button on the notifications and become a part of our thriving community. Who knows? The next video may take us to another intriguing era or a different corner of our vast universe. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, remember, history is not just about the past. It's about understanding our present and shaping our future. See you in the next video, and don't forget subscribe to WFSM4Gamer.